Let me say uh, that uh, I am so honored to uh, present this certificate to uh, Grandmaster Edmondson. He has been loyal for a number of years. He has significant growth underneath him. He's had this family program over here for many, many years, him and his wife, uh, Mrs. Edmondson. They're doing a great job. Uh, he could be doing a lot of other things that are negative, but he's been a mortuary class, which teaches respect, humility. And as long as you stay in this, this program, you're going to turn out to be okay. You're going to be okay because there are certain things I know they do not allow, at least while you're in Friday class. You have to pay attention. You have to show respect. And uh, that grows into other things that are positive for you in, in your future life. Uh, Mrs. Bussey, excellent, what an excellent, what an excellent partner to have. She's loyal. I've known her from the beginning. And uh, if you have one person that can hang with you, you can Two or more is a bonus, but if you just have one that's loyal to you, then uh, you're, you're, in, you're in the majority. And she has been loyal to this class. Uh, Ms. Evanson doesn't have to do a punch or a kick. He's done all that for a number of years for me. I know that he's worthy of what I'm getting ready to honor him with because of his dedication to me, to, uh, to the martial arts community at large. Uh, he's very knowledgeable. And uh, as I said before, uh, this is a very strong one to read about this. So uh, he, has, uh, he has shown me in many, many ways that, uh, that uh, he has deserved, that more than deserving this rank I'm going to honor him with today, which is ninth degree black belt. I, I want to congratulate him uh, for uh, his stick to itness. He has stuck with it through injury, through everything. He stuck with it to maintain this class over here. And uh, he has a, a multitude of family members that's come through this class. And, uh, I, uh, I just want to uh, congratulate him, and as I said before, I'm glad that I'm the one that can recognize him at this level of 93 Black Belt. So uh, I want to, well, wait a minute, Nim, uh, he didn't know I was going to say anything. <laughs> Nim really might want to make, make, make a comment about this. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of him. That's the kind of reason I had to go back to my new home. I'm a uniform person. This is a, this is, we like, it'd be like a doctor coming in to, to operate with his just regular clothes on. It ain't going to happen. So it was important to go, you know, to be in uniform. And um, like I said, um, I'm proud of you because I know you save saving lives. Sometimes we don't realize what we're really doing, what we say in life, because uh, why we here, they, they're not out there with that, with the world being crazy, and you're teaching them to deal with that world. So I'm definitely proud of you. you came a long way. And, uh, I'm really happy to do it. Okay. Uh, let me, Mrs. Evans is not, not, not up front now, but she is such an important arm for, for her husband. And uh, she has found her niche years ago in being able to instruct. She's an excellent instructor. She knows about this art. She knows, believe me, she knows what, what has to, how it has to look. And uh, you guys are fortunate to have them as a team. As I said before, also Miss Bussy, you're fortunate. I, I'm not all the to have outstanding instructors, but this is one that does. And uh, it makes me proud every time I come over here that, uh, that I have something to do with, uh, with uh, what goes on over here in Jerusalem. So, uh, no further than we got one other person. I can't wait any longer, but uh, 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 Grandmaster Sumner is in route. 
he didn't want to miss it either, but he'll, he should get it before we leave. <laughs> He's coming from Fairfield. Didn't want to hold the class up any longer, but uh, uh, I, uh, I'm just going to end with, uh, with uh, remember, you can take this rank to Korea. You can take this anywhere in the world. My instructor, one of my instructors, uh, uh, Grandmaster Ahn, says, whatever I say, to whatever I said to and whatever rank I present them to, all the way to them, that's what they are. So he just said, their memory, what line come out of their memory, you can take it across the water. This is not Mickey Mouse. This is, this is actually authentic, coming from me, that he is an authentic, registered, 9th degree black belt coming from me. I have my signature on this, uh, and uh, so uh, uh, I want you to, to uh, Make sure you uh, don't just throw it somewhere. <laughs> make, sure, make sure you bring it. And uh, uh, just like a doctor's license or anything else, uh, uh, you, you cherish this because uh, I never thought that I would be in a position to honor somebody with this kind of degree. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say this. Uh, uh, I just it just popped in my mind. Uh, I'm going to say this, and you know you have a lot of a lot of girls, a lot of females in the class, and. Uh, as I've gotten older, I've gotten more and more respect for our females in our society. That's where I came from. Without a female, I wouldn't even be here. So you are very, very important. And, uh, and, and the, the mere fact that uh, the world sometimes looks as secular, we don't look at that no more. Females are just as important as any other human being. And he had a female class here, and, and he's got a female excellent instructor, two of them. So hold your head up and uh, know that you have work, and that, uh, 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 oh my God, uh, this is just, uh, this is a one, this is a one, I got good feelings all inside of me about this. Uh, so uh, uh, as females, let me say this, I started to say it, I almost forgot. Uh, on uh, February the 5th, uh, 2016, is when I first announced that, he, that his rank was going to be 9th degree. Along with that also, I did something that's never happened before in martial arts history that I know of. There is a lady by the name of uh, uh, Sandra Summer. Just bear with me. Almost cry every time I think of her name. But she went up at the same time Mrs. Uh, Keith, Mrs. Edison went up. And uh, she's deceased now. But posthum posthumously, anyone know what posthumous means? Anybody in the class? No, you do? What does posthumous mean? Doesn't it mean like someone, um, something is published like after like somebody's death? Absolutely. Well, what I've done is something that's never ever been done before that I know of in martial art history. Sure. Posthumously, she has the highest rank. I have a certificate like this for her at 10th degree, like she is a senior of all the, everybody except for him. Uh, she will be the first 10th degree that I know of. That leaves a door open for any female to, to rise to the highest level of martial arts that they can come, because we already have one now. She posthumously has been recognized as a 10th degree black girl. Her son is on his way here, Janko Summer. I had him both when they were little kids. Not her, but when he was a little kid. And uh, so I posthumously, uh, awarded her a 10th degree black belt. As I said before, I don't know if there is any other ones that high, I don't know of them. There's now a 10th degree female uh, a black belt that has been made that degree posthumously by me. So his son, her son, would have her certificate in his school with his mom being a 10th degree black belt. Now normally these degrees of, uh, are, I'm sharing a, a, a membership with, with Nathan Miller. Normally, I'd have to die before something like that would happen. It's hard to have rank, equal rank, and get anything done. Somebody has to be the head. Well, I've broken that a little bit because I'm still living, and I got somebody equal to me in rank. Hey, Amen. I've got a 10th degree now, Mrs. Summer, and I've got uh, some 9th degrees now. So I'm, I'm very happy to be alive and, and well and, and with sound mind to deliver this kind of rank because usually it just don't happen. You just got to. You just gotta die and somebody gets moved, somebody moves up. But uh, I'm alive and well, and this rank is, is, is uh, being given because it's deserved, it is deserving to be had while I can appreciate it myself. So, Mr. Edmondson, if there's anything you want to turn.
prepared to say. Uh, first, I'd like to give honor to the uh, Creator of God. I'd like to say thank you. And I'd also like to, uh, I, I have two, things, two sides of the coin I want to deal with. Uh, as as uh, Nim Miller will testify to, I, I struggle against pomp and circumstance. And it, it's, hard, it's hard for me to deal with that. And, I, and, I, and, and you and I in our private conversation, you, you struggle with the same thing. And it's not that I minimize the event or what, what the occasion is. Because on the other side of my head, I'm nothing but a student. That's all. And it's difficult to sometimes accept that weight when you still see yourself as a student. Uh, so on the, on the one hand, I, I, I apologize to them, to them and the other guys when we have our meeting. And I say, man, let's just I see something real simple because I'm not about all that stuff. And they would struggle against me. No, man, this is important. This is... And, and I, I recognize that. But it, it, it's my struggle against myself in terms of how I think we're supposed to carry ourselves with this art. And, and that is a constant perpetual suit because if you don't see yourself like that, what can you give to anybody else? And they'll tell you, as soon as I learn something, I come back in Delta O again to the chagrin of some of the, <laughs> some of my masters and, and students. So uh, this is a, this is a wonderful occasion again. I appreciate it. I, I feel highly honored, and uh, I enjoy the fact that two of the gentlemen who are doing this, you specifically. But we were all at the Black House together. And not a lot of us around still who, who were there. And uh, those were good times because we would study about four or five hours. <laughs> and I tell them all the time, I said, you guys get tired for an hour and a half. You don't do what we used to do. <laughs> we study judo couple hours and then karate for another couple hours. So uh, those were great times and, and the three of us were there doing that. Doing that. So I appreciate it and uh, I have such a high love and regard for you. And, and all of the others that you promoted. Uh, Which one of your kids and we had a shooting at the and I think I read was my equipment. Yes, it was, uh, it was Schumann. It was Schumann. It was my right. I thought that would be me. Yeah. It was Schumann. Yeah. Schumann. 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 Okay. Schumann. Yeah, Schumann. <laughs> Schumann. Schumann's his scene. She's older than him. Yeah. yeah, it was Schumann. I thought it was my right. I thought it was mine. Uh, it was? No. No. It was Schumann. It was Schumann. Yeah, yeah, they had a shootout at the Rockville Temple. Okay. And people were shooting at the building. And I grabbed one of the kids' kids. And them while the shooting was shooting at the field. Uh, so let me say this and then we can, you know, we can bring this to a conclusion. Uh, and help with that, with that, what you said, Mr. Evans, and that the higher you get ranked, the more humbler you must become. And once you lose humility, you lost everything. I remember a, uh, I want to acknowledge a Reverend Lynch, this is the building now. I went to a, I was at this church at a funeral one time some years ago, and he said some of this stuff with me. He said that, uh, he told everybody, he said, everybody want to, want to know why he speaks when he does that funeral. He said, because that person that passed could be him. He said that uh, he honored, you know, he honored the fact that uh, that we're all going to go that way someday. And the way he we gave reverence to, to the deceased, he just stuck with me. He said that, he said, I, I speak like I do because I know the reality of life is that it comes to this end. Mm -hmm. It just stuck with me, you know. Just said that that person in this land that now could be me. Mm -hmm. So he spoke some wonderful words that I never got. Mm -hmm. Revelation. So uh, 
I want to say, you know, you, we, we all got, we all as human beings are going in the same direction. We appreciate the life while we have it. Admonish, uh, be respectful to the seniors. Help those you can help. And, uh, and hold your head up. Now, if, when I give you this ninth degree, I don't want you to be pious, but I want you to be sort of like this. <laughs> <laughs> just tilt the chin, just a little bit like this. <laughs> um, remember, that was a ninth degree black child. So, <laughs> so congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>